Hi and welcome to a new video. We all have many email addresses. In this video, I'll show you how you can add and use multiple email accounts on your iPhone and iPad in the Mail app. This works with any email address. Let's go! There are two ways of adding email accounts to an iPhone or iPad. One method is to do it automatically. This works just for some email providers like Google, Yahoo, or Outlook. The advantage is that it's easier to set up. But if you're using a less popular email provider or you own a domain and created a mail by yourself, you'll have to do it manually with SMTP or POP3. Open Settings on your phone to get started. To set up your email if you're using a popular email provider, scroll down and press Mail. Then click on Accounts and tap Add Account. Here you can choose between iCloud, Microsoft Exchange, Google, Yahoo, AOL and Outlook. Choose your email provider and tap Continue. Log in to your email account with your email address and your password like you would log in online. After logging in, choose whether you want to sync your contacts, calendar entries or notes to your device aside from the Mail app. For example, if you use Google Calendar, all existing meetings or events saved in your Google Calendar will be downloaded to your device's calendar app. For now, I'll only use the Mail app. Continue by pressing Save. A new mailbox will be created in your Mail app on your iPhone or iPad. To customize your mailbox, select your email account, then tap Account. Here, you can edit the name and the description. The description is what will be displayed as the name of your mailbox in your mail app. I'll change the description to my email provider and change the name of the account. Tap Done to save your changes. Now open the mail app. And under Mailboxes, you'll now be able to see and use your newly added email account. If you use a different email service provider that was not included in the list, you have to manually input your account. These include email settings like the host name and username for your incoming and outgoing mail server. It sounds complex, but it's actually really easy. Open Settings on your phone and go back to the Mail Accounts. Then tap Add Account. Select Other and press Add Mail Account. Assign the name and enter your email address as well as your password. For this one, I'm using Hetzner as email service, so I'm going to put it in the description field. Tap Next to continue. Now, it is needed to decide between IMAP and POP which method will be used to access and receive emails. For a quick explanation, IMAP allows you to access your email wherever you are from any device such as your phone, tablet, or laptop. POP, on the other hand, will store your emails on your device and delete them from the server. This means you can only access that email from the device you use. I recommend using IMAP because in my case, this works just fine. If you want to learn more about the two methods, you can find a link in the video description below. Let's continue with the incoming and outgoing mail server. First, you have to know what is the host name of your email service provider, which in my case is Hetzner. I'll open Safari and do a web search to get the details by typing my email service provider and then adding the word IMAP. Find and open a relevant link, preferably from the website of your email provider, so you can get the correct information that you need. As you can see, these are the information that you need. Copy the incoming mail server and paste it on the host name under incoming mail server and outgoing mail server. The username should be your email address, so just copy and paste it on both incoming and outgoing servers again. Type in your account password and proceed by pressing Next. Once it is done, it will ask you which apps you want to use the email address for. Tap Save and that's it. You have successfully added your email accounts and the new mailbox will be created on your mail app. Here's the new mailbox called Hetzner I created using the manual method. 
Now you can add all of your email accounts and use them at the same time without needing to log in and log out. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.